everybody welcome back to another video and today I'm going to teach you how to mentally calculate squares of numbers from 1 to 125 before I start I'm going to let you know that this PDF will be in the comment section below so you can work on it and review what we are going to do today let's start off with the squares from 1 to 25 the best way to know or calculate these squares is just to memorize them you will need these to calculate the rest of the squares Here's a table to help you memorize them. You will see later on in the video, by knowing these squares, you can use just simple addition and subtraction to calculate squares up to 125. Let's move on to squares from 25 to 50. Let A equal to X minus 25. Let B equal to 50 minus X. Then your answer or X squared is 100A plus B squared. While I'm doing this, I'm going to let you know that x is a number that we want to square. Let's try some examples now. So, 42 minus 25 is 17. 50 minus 42 is 8. To get your answer, you multiply by 100 or add two zeros to the end of this. And add that to 8 squared, which is 64. When you add it, you get 1,764. So 42 squared is 1,764. Now let's try 37 squared. 37 minus 25 is 12. 50 minus 37 is 13. To get your answer, you add two zeros to the end and add that to 13 squared, which is 169. As a result, you get 1,369. Let's try 29 squared. 29 minus 25 is 4. 50 minus 29 is 21. Add two zeros to the end and add that to 21 squared, which is 441. As a result, you get 841. So 29 squared is 841. Now let's move on to the squares from 50 to 75. Let A equal to X minus 50. Then B is equal to A plus 25. And your answer, or x squared, is nothing but 100b plus a squared. Now let's try some examples. 58 minus 50 is 8. 8 plus 25 is 33. To get your answer, you add two zeros to the end, and you add that to 8 squared, which is 64. And you get 3364, or 3364. So 58 squared is 3364. Now let's try 20, 63 squared. 63 minus 50 is 13. 13 plus 25 is 38. To get your answer, you add two zeros to the end and you add it to 13 squared, which is 169. When you add it, you get 3969. So 63 squared is 3969. Let's try 20, 74 squared. 74 minus 50 is 24. 24 plus 25 is 49. To get your answer, you add two zeros to the end, and you add it to 24 squared, which is 576. As you can see, I'm writing many steps to solve these problems, but if you get used to it, you'll be able to do it mentally, just like I can. So 74 squared is 5,476. Let's move on to squares from 75 to 100. So let's say A is 100 minus X. As usual, X is a number that's being squared. Let B equal to 2A. Let C equal to 100 minus B. Then X squared, or your answer is 100C plus 8 squared. Let's try some examples. So 100 minus 96 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 100 minus 8 is 92. To get your answer, you add two zeros to the end, and you add that to 4 squared, which is 16. This might seem a little complicated at first, but you'll get used to it as you keep practicing. So 96 squared is 9,216. Let's try 87 squared. What's 100 minus 87? It's 13, obviously. Multiply by 2 to get 26. Subtract it from 100 to get 74. Add two zeros to the end and add it to 169 or 13 squared. 
As a result, you get 7569. Let's try our last example, 79 squared. What's 79? 100, 100 minus 79 is 21. When you double it, you get 42. Subtract it from 100 to get 58. Add two zeros to the end and add it to 21 squared, which is 441. You can see we're just using addition and subtraction. Not really subtraction, but mainly addition to solve these squares just by knowing the first 25 squares. Now let's move on to squares from 100 to 125. Let a equal to x minus 100. Let b equal to 2a. Let c equal to b plus 100. Then x squared is nothing but 100c plus h squared. Let's try some examples. So what's 100 minus 6? Um, I mean 106 minus 100. 100. 6. If you double it, you get 12. If you add that to 100, you get 112. Then what is x squared? Your, or your answer. You add two zeros to the end and you add it to 6 squared, which is 36. As a result, you get 11236. Let's try 117 squared. 117 minus 100 is 17. Double it to get 34, add it to 100 to get 134. To get your answer, you put two zeros at the end, and you add it to 17 squared, which is 289. Your answer is 13689. Let's try 123 squared. 123 minus 100 is 23. Double it to get 46. Add the 100 to get 146. Your answer should be 23 squared plus 14600. 23 squared is 529. When you add it, you get 15129. Sorry, I was a little bit messy handwriting. And 15129. Now that we've learned all the concepts, let's do a quick recap. Let's start off by doing 38 squared. 38 lies between 25 and 50, so we use the rule for numbers between 25 and 50. 38 minus 25 is 13. 50 minus 38 is 12. Add two zeros to the end and add it to 12 squared, which is 144. You get 1444. So 38 squared is 1444. Let's try 43 squared. 43 lies in the same range, so we use the same technique. 43 minus 25 is 18. 50 minus 43 is 7. Add two zeros to the end and add it to 7 squared, which is 49. As a result, you get 1849. So 43 squared is 1849. Let's try 69 squared. 69 lies between 50 and 75. So we use the rule for numbers between 50 and 75. 69 minus 50 is 19. 19 plus 25 is 44. You add two zeros to the end and add it to 19 squared. 361. You get 4761. So 69 squared is 4761. Now let's try 88 squared. 88 lies between 75 and 100, so we use the technique for numbers between 75 and 100. 100 minus 88 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 100 minus 24 is 76. You add two zeros to the end and add it to 12 squared, which is 144. As a result, you get 7744. So 88 squared is 7744. 
Let's try 124 squared. 124 minus 100 is 24. Double it to get 48. Add 100 to it to get 148. Add two zeros and add it. 24 squared, which is 576. You get 15376. So 24 squared is 15376. That's going to be all for this video. Next video, I will talk about special techniques. These methods that I'm going to talk about next time are going to be easier than the methods that we discussed today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and bye.